Hola. Hello everybody. Welcome to a new video. Brooklyn and Renee coming at you live. With another cooking one. Another cooking video. So today we are making tiacos. hibiscus tacos jamaica whatever you want to say for those of you who don't know you can make like a meat out of hibiscus which is bomb it and actually tastes really, really good. good but we couldn't find any so sorry to disappoint but we're not making hibiscus tacos we are at superstore on the hunt for hibiscus we have pineapple and coleslaw and i don't know but i'm gonna get a red bull Ooh, we're making actually we're making tacos, but who knows what kind yet, we'll see. We find hibiscus, we're making hibiscus tacos. Also, do you guys like my all white sweatsuit? Not it today. We are making jackfruit tacos, which I feel like is a bit more popular at this point. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna show you how to make it. It's actually super easy, super simple, but yet delicious. I've actually never cooked with jackfruit before. I don't even know if I've had jackfruit. <laughs> Well, then this is a new one for her. I'll show how to make it. She'll make the margaritas. We're having a little fiesta night. Let's do this. Okay, so Brooklyn is the chef tonight and I am the bartender. Mm -hmm. So I will be showing you how to make the margaritas. This is the recipe that my dad does. It's a pretty basic margarita recipe though. So my hands are clean and we're the only ones drinking these, so who cares? I'm gonna hop in here. Say so one thing with the jackfruit. I'm preparing things to show you it after, but I'm preparing the jackfruit and I just wanna say one thing. It comes in a like a can like this. Get the, it's soaked in water if you can. Brine is also okay, but don't get it soaked in syrup because that just grows. But anyway, this is what the jackfruit looks like. There's like little things like these. You wanna like pick them out. The seeds. The, it's like kind of like seeds. I don't even know what they feel like, but pick them out of all of them. Back to Renee. Okay, so you have your little shaker. We are gonna do ice. These are triples. Oh, I also wanted to show you this. Look at this little shot glass that I got my dad. It says, you're the luckiest dad in the world. I'd love to have me as a daughter. <laughs> Anyways, this is a double. So we're gonna do two shots of tequila. This is for one margarita. And then we're gonna do one shot of coin tro. You can also use triple sec. This is just all we have. It's like an orangey liqueur. And then we're gonna juice some limes. I don't really know how much to use, but we're just gonna see what looks good. A little trick if you don't have a lime juicer, I just like stick a spoon in there and it works. Honestly, I feel like even better. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so for one margarita, I am using two limes, juiced pretty good. Um, we also have margarita mix for like the restaurant margaritas. We're not gonna go this fancy, but we wanna start the night off right because we're also celebrating that we passed oh over 100 God, subscribers. We're so just happy and thankful, thankful and we love you guys. Watching us. I know, like, I can't believe it. I'm, I know. We're so excited. We're so freaking happy. We're just so happy. Okay, so that's everything. You put it in your shaker. I'm oh. shaking up real good. And then for the rim, I just use like one of the limes that we squeezed. You want to get it over the rim. And then instead of doing salt, we're going to do tahine because I bought tahine. If you know, you know. You and tahine you know. is literal crack. Yeah, it's so good. So we're going to do that as the rim. I just put it on a plate and then mix it around. And then don't use the ice that's in your shaker. You want to use fresh ice for your drink because we deserve the fresh ice. So we're going to do fresh ice. It's a little bit crumbled. And then the strainer thing is stuck. I can't get it. So I just do a cut and strain it. <laughs> All right. And 
and there is your margarita. Ooh, Give it a taste. That's good. It's little. strong. But it's good. It is strong. <laughs> I love it. Cheers, baby. Woo! Okay, so I prepared everything for the salsa that we're gonna put on top of the tacos. First, so we can all like kind of marinate together and we'll just put in the fridge so then that's done with. So I chopped everything up. Uh, white onion is gonna be better on top of this. So I did white onion and you just chop into really small pieces, same as the pineapple and then also cilantro. So I did that, I'm gonna put it into a bowl. Okay, and so now I'm gonna mix it just to, like all together. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. And then <laughs> so I'm gonna put lime juice on it as well. So I don't know, just kind of eyeball the lime. Maybe like you could do a full lime, you could do half lime, you could do two limes, whatever you want really. So we'll put that in there, we'll mix it. And we will also put some salt and pepper just to flavor it up a little bit more. So some pepper. And again, you're just kind of eyeballing this. Kind of whatever you want, probably a bit more salt than pepper in this. And mix that together and you're done your salsa. So I'm gonna put in the fridge and uh, that will be ready when we're ready for our tacos. Okay, so we have all the jackfruit in a bowl. Like I said, I took out all those like seed thingies and then I dried the jackfruit um, and now they're here. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna season them and just like a dry season. So we are gonna kind of do like a little more like an El Pastor kind of a thing, what we're gonna do. It might be like a little barbecue-y El Pastor type of thing, but they cross over, so that's what we're doing. So first I'll just put in some ground chili pepper. Chipotle, that's just Oh, sorry. <laughs> Chipotle. Is that right? Yeah, no, it's perfect, that's what I wanted. Chipotle is my favorite. And honestly, I'm gonna eyeball everything. So you uh, are literally just gonna season the top like that. It's really just kind of the seasoning is like what you want. Like I like if you want it spicier, you put spicier. If you don't like, I don't know, you just kind of do what you want. And then I'm going to put paprika. Some people like a lot of seasoning. Some people like a little bit, a little of, seasoning. bit of seasoning too. I hate it. It's like, I feel like online now I see like everybody just comes at people for seasoning like a little bit. Like I feel like I season a lot, but it's like, if that's the way that I they love like, seasoning a lot. Me too. It's but it's like, preference, man. but yeah, I'm like, if that's the way Cumin. that they like, like their food, just let them right. Eat it. Cumin makes the world go round. Cumin goes with everything and is like literally part of every single cuisine. Let's be real. Oregano. Um, oh, and then of course, always salt and pepper. And some salt. So. And of course, like this is not it. We still have a sauce to do. This is just like the dry, dry rub. rub. So we're gonna mix this together and we'll see you in a second. Okay, so now we're about to start heating up or start kind of cooking the jackfruit. So we're just gonna heat up the pan on kind of a higher heat. We'll heat that up. We're gonna add a little bit of oil to the pan and then Gotta grab the onions. Look at these beautiful onions. Look at these beautiful. So we got red onions and we got garlic on here. So let's start sauteing that first. And just like a couple minutes, we'll do that. Okay, now we've had the onion and garlic kind of sauteing for like a minute or two. We're gonna add in our jackfruit that we already seasoned. Look at this. We seasoned. Mm. Mm -mm -mm, baby. We're literally gonna throw that right in there. Get all the good stuff out of the bottom. And we're gonna mix that up. Ooh, I can smell the spice of already. So we'll just mix that up and honestly let it kind of just cook for like maybe about three to five minutes just like this before adding the sauce, which we'll get to in a second. Okay, so now we're gonna make the sauce for the jackfruit. So in here I already have a full orange in orange juice in here. I'm gonna tip it over, you can't really see it, but whatever. 
a full orange squeeze in there. So we're kind of going to make a barbecue, again, El Pastore kind of flavor sauce type of thing. So we got that in there. Again, I literally, I'm so sorry, but I eyeball everything. So we're going to put brown sugar in there. So I'm going to put, I don't know, like a tablespoon first, maybe like a tablespoon and a half of that. We're going to stir it in there. We are going to put some apple cider vinegar in there. Maybe like a, just like a teaspoon, spoon. I would say more. Half tablespoon, teaspoon. Don't need too much. That's shit strong. And then, okay. I'm so sorry because you might not have this, but you can get it. It's, go to like a Mexican exactly. market. It's tahin, but it's like this kind of chamoy, like it's like the liquidy type of thing. It's so good. So we're going to add that into there and maybe like a tablespoon of that. We'll mix that together. And then of course, always some salt and pepper. We'll do, and then one more thing. I'm gonna taste it first, and then I'm gonna maybe add something else, but let me just taste it. Okay, and then I'm also gonna add some ketchup to uh, kind of just balance out all the flavors and uh, maybe thicken it up a bit. You honestly, like, want quite a bit of there. I probably put like two tablespoons worth in there. Mix that up. If you have like I think anchovy seasoning or sauce, and there's also like adobe sauce, you can put that in there. We don't have that, so we're just kind of doing our thing, making it up as we go. Can I put hot sauce in there? Maybe yeah. Let's taste it first. Let's taste it because the heat will be added later. Mmm, that's perfect. Just yeah, I think it's good but I could add a little heat so. I'm down. I love it. Isn't that so good? Yeah, I love that. That's so good. Yeah, we'll put it. We have Valentina's, so we'll put it on Valentina's for a little bit of spice. It honestly tastes so good. You definitely can add spice later on to it. Valentina's like the best hot sauce in the world, I swear. I used to be a diehard Frank, Frank person. You do. Um, but I've converted over. And maybe like half a teaspoon of that. So or you can always add it on top. That's definitely top. a personal preference. You can do whatever. But it definitely just adds a good flavor. Definitely just go by Valentine's like today. Oh my god, it's so good. Is it good? I'm gonna try. Delicious. It's amazing. Okay, that's done. We're gonna add that to our dark fruit. Okay, so we have this has been kind of cooking for around like four or five minutes maybe. Um, and now we've made the sauce. It's again amazing. Oh, so good. So, we're gonna literally just dump that whole entire thing on there. So, we'll do that. I'll mix it all together. And what we're actually gonna do is while we make the tortillas, because uh, we're making homemade tortillas, of course, we are gonna put this kind of on a lower temp and just let it marinate, let it sit for as long as we make the tortillas for. If you're not like making something else in the meantime and you're just kind of waiting for this to cook, honestly, like 20 to 30 minutes, I would just let this cook for um, as long as you can just to get all those flavors kind of soaked up. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're starting to make the flour tortilla, or sorry, the corn tortillas. So basically what we did, we have a bowl. We mixed in two cups of corn flour and then one teaspoon of salt, fine salt. So we mix that together. We're doubling the recipe that we have linked. Yeah, yeah. so it should make about 16 tortillas. We'll see, I guess. I think and we're gonna need all 16. <laughs> so we have one cup of warm water here. So I'm gonna slowly put this in here while Renee mixes it in with her hands. They're clean, they're clean. Okay, so the uh, dough should be kind of like a play-doh-y texture. So when you like touch it, basically, like it shouldn't stick to your hands or anything. Um, and that's pretty much what it's looking like. Once you start getting that kind of texture and it's not sticking anymore, stop adding water. So again, like you, sh it says two cups of water in the recipe, but they did say that you'll probably need less than that. So we're kind of done. We are done adding water. It literally looks perfect. Now we're just gonna knead it for a couple minutes and then we'll start pressing it. Okay, so we've put the, we've rolled the, the dough into like a, kind of like a log. So then we are now gonna cut the dough. Always cut, never rip. 
into 16 pieces. Okay, now that they are divided into 16 pieces, we're just gonna roll each one of them into a ball. We're gonna start to press the tortillas. So the rest of the balls are under a damp cloth right now because you don't wanna let them dry out. We have the disc here, we have the ball on it. So we're gonna start to press the ball just a little bit with your fingers first. So do that, it doesn't have to be crazy good or anything because of course that's why you have the press. So anyways, just do that. Also, I don't know if I mentioned, but you lay a parchment paper onto the, uh, the tortilla press. So once you've kind of flattened it down with your fingers a little bit, you're going to now press it. Gently, slowly. My heart's racing. I know it's nervous. So it goes all the way down. And then let's see how this thing looks. Got a little stuck, but it's normal. Looks. Good. Do you want to like that a flipper? Mm -hmm. Oh no, I think we're okay. Oh my god, these are Perfect. so cute. Yeah, it's pretty little, but... Corn tortillas are little. Are little. Right? We'll just make really little ones. Anyway, that's how it's going to be. We've got our skillet warming up there, so now we're just going to literally plop it on. No oil. No oil. 10 seconds on that side. And then put that in some kind of dirty thing. How long do you do the other side? Oh, and then you do the other side for a minute. And then after the minute, you're going to flip it back over and you're going to do it for until it puffs up. Okay. Okay. So you guys, now it has puffed up a little bit as well. So it flipped, we did that side for a minute and now we flipped it over again. It's starting to puff up and it honestly should be good. Look at that. We flipped it over to test it. That is what you want. Delicious. Mm. Okay, and then when you are done making the tortillas, we're just going to layer them in parchment paper. So just like this, and we'll put another one on top of there. And then once the new one's done, we'll put it on top of there as well so they don't dry out and they keep warm and separated. Okay, it's been a minute since we have filmed. We are finished the tortillas. We are now, I've got the jackfruit back into a bowl. I've taken two forks and we're just pulling pulling it like chicken, basically. And shredding it up. Shredding it up. This is when it's gonna start to actually look like meat, basically. Anyway, so you're just gonna take it and like pull it apart. And I'll be doing that for a second and then we'll start to assemble. I'm so excited. Okay, we're starting to assemble the tortillas. So we have these cute little tortilla hold or taco holders, I should say. Um, so I'm just putting them in there. So we just bought like coleslaw, like just pre-made packaged coleslaw. So we're going to just put a little bit of that in there. You can totally omit this step, but always good to get a little bit of greens, a little crunch. So we definitely like putting that in there. Just going to put a little bit on the bottom and then we're going to go in with our jackfruit and tacos are like Make them your own, baby. Like if you got avocado, Guac, you can put them in there. Guacamole, tomatoes, like whatever you feel like. I just feel like what we're doing kind of goes with this, especially the El Pastor. Like the pineapple really goes with El Pastor. So just kind of do what you feel like. So I'm gonna add some jackfruit to each of these. And then after that, you're gonna add your pineapple salsa to the top. And there you have it, your tacos. And of course, after this, we're gonna put on hot sauce, but that's also a personal choice. Go it's Renee, like it's all good. <clears throat> They're so good. <laughs> okay. Good, Renee. Oh, that's so good. I'm so homemade for you.